subscribe. It takes a couple seconds. Hit the notification bell and hit the like button as well. Yeah. Uh, I had a question regarding the pay, <clears throat> the PayPal one. Okay. So, uh, is there tracking tracking number required for Andy and Ryan, whoever? Because uh, uh, like it, you you can get away with it with not putting it. Uh, th there was a point where with my old PayPal account, um. I didn't even use the UpTrack app, but I stopped uploading tracking numbers and I stopped getting holds. Uh, I think that's because the age of the account was really high. Like by this point, it was like six, seven months old and I just stopped getting holds. Um, and the very little holds that I was getting were released within a week or so. Uh, but I think at the start, just play it safe. Uh, upload all the documents they ask for. Um, if you've got a registered business, give them the, the business registration number, uh, upload your ID if they ask for it, all that other stuff. Do whatever you can to make them think that you're legit and that you're a real mm -hmm. business owner. Um, and then obviously as well, upload the, the tracking numbers for each order. Um, it, and you can use the app for that if you want. But over time, I think uh, eventually they'll, they'll just trust you and they just won't hold your money. Got it. Yeah. Because uh, I never did it, like, since the beginning, but recently they asked one time, and I gave them a call, and they just unhold my account um, because I, the, I did it for about two years. So right. yeah. I guess it's not required on this one, but a fresh account is probably required. Yeah, now. yeah, because, you know, with PayPal, when they, when they notice a new account open up and they see funds straight away coming in, it obviously you can see mm -hmm. why that looks really sus on their end. So they'd need to confirm a lot of things with you. Um, and I think the rule is for a new account, when you get holds, they're on hold for like 21 days. And after the 21st mm -hmm. day, no matter if the is tracking numbers or not, if there's no complaint by the customer, they just release the funds. Um, but it's, kind yeah. of, it's risky doing it that way. You don't want to wait 21 days for each order because then, you know, if you go through a period of no sales, that means 21 days from now, you're going to get no funds coming from PayPal, which you don't want. So just stay yeah. on top of it. Stay yeah. on top of your tracking numbers. Got it. Since we're talking about uh, PayPal and stuff, uh, where is the Shopify dispute? Because I, I know where to find it on Stripe and PayPal. But I couldn't find anywhere on Shopify. So when someone disputes your order or whatever, where do you submit the evidence and stuff, right? Wait, so you've never had a dispute on Shopify? Never. I just recently started doing it, using it this year. Dude, that's... Really I, I use Stripe. Ah, okay. Um, if, if you've never had one, don't worry about it. But if you were to have one, uh, <laughs> it would pop up on the back end of Shopify. Like, it'd be very, very obvious on the homepage. It'd be like, hey, you've got one chargeback to, uh, to dispute. And then you just go, you click on dispute and then that's where you go and upload your evidence and whatever. Um, but if you've okay, never ever okay, got one, yeah. man, feel, feel good. Cause that's amazing. They're super annoying. Got it. Yeah. Cause I had a recent one on when I switched over from, uh, to try like a few days ago, uh, for like hundred and like $50 and it was like a fraudulent one. And I spent all the evidence. So I'm just waiting on that. Yeah. That, that's what made me wonder. I was like, where's the Shopify one? Because you could usually see, see it, but I didn't see anything on Shopify, yeah. like back end settings or anywhere. Yeah. I mean, no, no matter what platform you're being, mm -hmm. you've got a dispute on, they're, they're always hard to win. Um, especially mm -hmm. if you reach out to the customer and they just don't respond, which happens all the time. Mm -hmm. And it's frustrating. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, man, just do your best. Upload all the evidence you can. If you lose, mm -hmm. Fair play. See if you can get a refund from the supplier. If not, then you just got to take the loss, man. It's just part of it. Yeah, true that. Usually, um, like I had about four disputes. I won like three. I probably lost like one because I was, I didn't submit evidence. But usually, I ended up winning them because there, there was this one time. Remember a uh, dispute? It was like a mom. She's like, "Oh, my kid ordered. I didn't order anything." And I sent the screenshot of everything and it, uh, proved it. So it's it just it's like funny things. What a stupid excuse, but yeah. <laughs> good on you man yeah <laughs> that you're able to win yeah knock on wood man <laughs> hopefully, yeah, yeah, yeah. hopefully no disputes right mm. got it uh and he had a question regarding uh the editor so uh like let's say i record a video and everything like editing takes a lot of time can i use your editor and how much will that be just to edit the video the way i want it got it so i think 
Have you ordered a video from shop.studying.com before? Yes, I have. It was, uh, I think I told you, it was, it was okay, but I wanted a little bit better. So I made a little bit of difference on my end and did it that way. Got it. And then were you able to ask for the different changes through the revisions? Because I know we offer unlimited revisions. Oh, is it? Okay. I, I didn't know. It was, I thought it was just one time. But the video was, uh, the editing was great. It just the quality of the content wasn't there. Because it's for this product, it's really hard to find content. So I edited the video, but uh, my transitions were bad. I don't know transition. I mean, I know I cut it together with the text, but the transition is the hard, hardest part for me. Got it. So what you can do the next time you do an order, one, since you have the product, film the different shots you want with the product, ask mm -hmm. about the different transitions, and then once you do like a few orders and they know, we know it's from Inda, our editor will understand mm -hmm. your editing style. So after you do like two or three requests or future requests, the editor will know exactly what you're looking for um, because you've sort mm -hmm. of trained them up over time. Um, and he would know your mm -hmm. style. So that's sort of the best way. And then obviously use the unlimited revisions, mm -hmm. keep getting it tweaked until you're happy with it. Um, and then eventually okay. all new orders, the editor will exactly know what you're talking about. And you could also copy and paste the previous requests back on the new order. Um, so they remember who you are and the type of editing you're looking for. Got it. Because uh, the transitions were fire. Like they're really good. Oh. Like I could never be at that level. Okay, that's Got good. Got it. Oh, it's just the, the quality of the... Good. Yeah, but the the content quality was just the thing that I didn't really like. So I just send the content like via Google Drive or something shareable, and then I'll, or I'll put it, cut it up and put it in a video, and they could just do a transition like that, right? So exactly. it just be easier on your end, exactly. and then it w works out fine. Got it. Uh, I'll I'll look at the link for the revision and go according to that. Awesome, Inda. Got it. That's it for right now. Perfect, Naraj. So it's a non ecom related question, but uh, I'm looking for a laptop, but it's too expensive in India. Like it's a thousand bucks difference uh, from US. So is there a way like I can get a uh, laptop from US for cheaper? So I'm from Australia. Uh, I'm guessing if you were to ship laptops over, it might, actually I know for sure, that it's going to probably be more expensive because if laptops in America were way cheaper, there's probably some local that's already shipping them in bulk and buying them at a much lower price and then marking it up in India. Um, What's the appropriate shipping time? Because I know there's some pro uh, shippers out there that...